where do Israelis draw this, uh, you know, hope, hopefulness? Well, from? first of all, it's a young country, so it's not like you've gone three, four hundred years of trying to reach the goal. We will reach that goal of peace in the in the end. And there's a lot of vitality. Israel is a young country and a lot of young people. So, you know, we we work on 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 the ability to to bring the change. Um, it's phenomenal. It's quite amazing. Um, and I, you know, I just I come from there, so I'm. <laughs> I'm sold on that, on the Israeli dream and the Israeli idea and the principle. Um, yeah, but it's it's living a very harsh reality, you know, having to, uh, every, generation after generation going to war and uh, having to always live under the threat, um, which I think is, there is a solution to it. I'm just hoping that there will be the leader that will bring it, you know. The deal of the century yeah, kind of solution? Oh. <laughs> well, it, it's just the start of the century, so right. it could, oh, could very so much happen. it could happen. take a little while. <laughs> uh, they didn't tell us when. So a few years ago, you had a remarkable album, <coughs> East Jerusalem, West Jerusalem, yes. where you got a chance to explore some of the differences between cultures. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about how you walked away and what you walked away with from that experience. Well, East Jerusalem, West Jerusalem, to me, was really um, uh, a, a way of, of putting a stamp on a commitment that I've had to, to b building bridges and creating a... Um, coexistence, let's say, an uh, environment of coexistence between Israelis and Palestinians. I do it through music. So we landed in the in the studio. Uh, I filmed it. It's on Netflix too, mm -hmm. so you can see it. It's the experience is remarkable. I brought an American uh, singer songwriter, Steve Earle, to be the middleman. So we have somebody who's completely uh, dis d detached from the issues, and brought Israelis and Palestinian musicians and my musicians to East Jerusalem, and we recorded an album there. Um, spent eight days and eight nights, during which also I had ventured after midnight every day to the um, refugee camp, the only refugee camp within Jerusalem, which mm. is called Shafat Refugee Camp, mm -hmm. where I got acquainted with locals and ended up uh, engaging young kids in, in music activities. Um, to me, this was um, a proof that we can do it, and also putting it on camera and recording the album um, just made everybody committed, anybody who was there committed, and it, you know, it's getting everywhere. I mean, also thanks to Netflix, you, you get people from the Emirates seeing it, Arab countries, and all over, all over the world. We only have three minutes left in the show. And right. Um, just tell us where <laughs> could people here in the U.S. see you perform next? Good question. So um, <laughs> I've got I've got some shows coming up in New York, like the Rubin Museum, which is a unique, very small venue, but I love seeing it. Or Mamaroneck on uh, September 28th in the Emelin Theater, and then later on. In the fall, I'm going to be in Philadelphia and, and throughout the United States. But your America. very next performance is right now. Oh, is right is now. So, yeah, Over we, we here. would love for you to take it away and just please. All right. Wow. So, listen, you started me off in 1977. It's kind of bizarre that I still sing that song. If I have one choice of a song, it's called Yetov, Things Will Be Better. And it was written on the night when President Anwar Sadat arrived in Israel with my good friend, Israeli poet, Jonathan Geffen. And um, it kind of uh, documents those years. But I'll do just one verse, one course, otherwise we'll be here all night. Yep. As long as you want. And this one says that we shall learn to live together under the olive trees and that children will grow up knowing no more wars, no terror, no frontiers. And that fresh new grass will grow over the graveyards for love and peace. For after a hundred years of war, we haven't and will not lose hope. Oh, Nilman, Lichot Biacha, Ben Hushot that say, they Thank you. 